Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with Open Heaven Daily Devotional Study, a channel that brings you the Open Heaven Devotional of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Open Heaven Devotional, even as we read along today. God bless you. Today's date, Tuesday, May 9th, 2023. Topic. He can change his mind. Memory verse, Acts 13 verse 22. And when he had removed him, he raised up unto them David to be their king, to whom also he gave their testimony, and said, I have found David the son of Jesse, a man after mine own heart, which shall fulfill all my will. Bible reading is taken from Deuteronomy 8 verse 11 to 20. Beware that thou forget not the Lord thy God, in not keeping his commandments, and his judgments, and his statutes, which I command thee this day. 12. Lest when thou hast eaten and art full, and hast built goodly houses, and dwelt therein. 13. And when thy herds and thy flocks multiply, and thy silver and thy gold is multiplied, and all that thou hast is multiplied. 14. Then thine heart be lifted up, and thou forget the Lord thy God, which brought thee forth out of the land of Egypt, from the house of bondage. 15. Who led thee through that great and terrible wilderness, wherein were fiery serpents, and scorpions, and drought, where there was no water, who brought thee forth water out of the rock of flint. 16. Who fed thee in the wilderness with manna, which thy fathers knew not, that he might humble thee, and that he might prove thee, to do thee good at thy latter end. 17. And thou say in thine heart, My power and the might of mine hand hath gotten me this wealth. 18. But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant which he sware unto thy fathers, as it is this day. 19. And it shall be, if thou do at all forget the Lord thy God, and walk after other gods, and serve them, and worship them, I testify against you this day that ye shall surely perish. 20. As the nations which the Lord destroyeth before your face, so shall ye perish, because ye would not be obedient unto the voice of the Lord your God. Our topic once again is He can change His mind. Message When God promotes you, you must never forget that your loyalty must be to Him and only Him. 1 Samuel 15 verses 15 to 24 records that when Saul became king, he forgot the one who put him there. God sent him on a mission, he failed, and his reason was, I feared the people. Don't try to lower the standard of God because you want to be popular. Don't forget that God is sovereign, he can do and undo. He can change his mind. Each time we read 1 Samuel 2, we love to quote verse 8 and ignore verse 7 which says that the Lord makes rich and he makes poor, he can take a beggar from the dunghill and promote him until he is sitting with princes. In 1 Samuel 2 verse 30, he said to Eli, I said indeed that thy house, and the house of thy father, should walk before me forever, but now the Lord saith, Be it far from me. For them that honor me I will honor, and they that despise me shall be lightly esteemed. He can promote and he can demote. Never forget that God always has a substitute ready. You can never hold God to ransom. If he promotes you and you think that without you, he cannot do anything. He would just bring in the substitute. For over a decade, King Saul was still on the throne, but David had already been chosen and anointed king. Saul was merely carrying the title but David was the approved king. Right in the house of Eli, little Samuel was already rising, the one who would take over was already there, in waiting. 
My prayer is that God promotes you, but don't forget that when he does, you must put him first and obey him completely. You must help others and never use your position to oppress people. Proverbs 22 verses 22 to 23 says God himself will plead the case of those who oppress others. Let your promotion birth promotion for many other people too. Perhaps you are the one resisting God's promotion by indulging in one sin or the other. The Bible says if you humble yourself under the mighty hand of God, he will lift you. Surrender all to him and let him begin to lift you. Prayer Point Father, as you promised me, I promise to always do your will, in Jesus' name. Bible in one year, 2 Chronicles 5-7 Our hymn today is Him 8. I need thee every hour. Have a great day. See you tomorrow. God bless you.